Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Hot Links. Howard threw these on the grill. And let me show you the brand that we are using. These are new to us and uh, they're actually pretty tasty. And with it, we are just having some of these wavy lays. They are Funyuns onion flavored. I saw these in Kroger recently and I love Funyuns, so I was really excited to try these chips. I will say they don't exactly taste like Funyuns. They're not strong like Funyuns. They do taste like onion chips, but if you didn't know you were eating Funyun flavored chips, you wouldn't know, so. Um, but this is Howard's plate. He is just having ketchup on his. And then this is mine. I am just having some mustard on my hot link. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are trying out a new pizza place for dinner today. It is called Pie 5 Pizza. And it's new to us, I mean, it's been around a while, but it's a place where you can get your own personalized pizzas or either buy their special pizza combos. And so that's what we did today. Um, I got, basically, it's like a Supreme Pizza. It has a fancy name, but I can't remember it. Um, so I got that, but it also came with olives, green and black olives, and I did not add those to my pizza or I had them taken off of my pizza. Howard got the equivalent of their meat pizza, all different types of meat on here. We got some uh, cheesy breadsticks and I'm just now realizing that there is no marinara in here, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to get some out of my pantry. And then for dessert, we are having nothing bunt cake. I got the lemon and Howard got the carrot cake. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having crock pot chicken and noodles, a really simple recipe. I did record a video on how I make my crock pot chicken and noodles and that will be out on Thursday. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making a copycat um, soup, Zupa Toscana from the Olive Garden. I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. Harrison is having his dinner right behind me, so you probably hear him yum, yum, yumming it up. But in my pot here, I have already cooked up some Italian sausage with onion and garlic. To that, I'm going to add some water, and some potatoes. It's about a pound and a half of potatoes. Some of them I left on the skin, some of them I took off. And then I'm going to add four cups of chicken stock. And I am going to let this come to a boil until the potatoes are done. And then I'm going to add in some chopped kale and some heavy, whoops, some heavy whipping cream. Okay, so here is the soup. It is very tasty. The recipe suggested crumbling some cooked bacon over the top, but I decided not to do that. And then we are having salad with it. And I just used the Olive Garden salad dressing. And then I also added some shredded Parmesan cheese to it. And I decided to keep on going with the Olive Garden theme. So I made a couple of breadsticks in the air fryer. And these are the breadsticks that we really like a lot. I, um, I buy them from Tom Thumb. They're very good. And I actually like them better than Olive Garden breadsticks. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. All right, so for dinner tonight, our entire meal is from Trader Joe's and that was not by design, it just happened. So we are finishing off the kale. 
um, from the other day, the one that I used in that um, soup. So we're having that. And then we are also having mandarin orange chicken and chicken pot stickers as well. So here's what it looks like. I just sauteed the kale in um, garlic salt and olive oil. And then I pan fried the pot stickers. There is the orange chicken and then I'm serving it over um, jasmine rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.